So differentiated integration is when some member states of the European Union decide to move ahead, whereas others decide to opt out. Uh, this has actually existed since several decades in many different policy fields, but it has become more prominent of late with the several enlargement rounds of the European Union ever since um, the wall fall, fell down in 1989. So the most prominent examples of this are European Monetary Union and Schengen. European Monetary Union refers to the Euro, of course, to which not all member states belong. And this has become very important in the context of the Euro crisis. Another example is Schengen, which has become very relevant in recent debates in the context of the migration crisis.